to do a video on the UCC one. So to find it, you go to Google and you type whatever state you have there. And um, so I typed it here and I found it right here. C.gov UCC. And then I went to my Secretary of State, found it right here. And then it brings up the form. And then the form, oops, this is the form right here. So I just wanted to review it with you. So basically up here is your information. And this is an upper and lower case, just your name. And then the address, it says in care of. So you just put your address there. And then the zip code is in brackets. Up here in the debtor's name, this is where you put the all caps name, um, like, like it is on your birth certificate. Then you put trust or trade, your trust or trade name. Some people do put uh, says to KV trust, or they just put trust, and then they put the incorporated sign. That's how it is in the redemption manual 5.0. And then um, here, I used small PDF dot com to make this smaller so it could fit here you can edit in there like once a day for free um, it says non-adverse non-belligerent non-combatant private foundation that's what I got from the redemption manual here you can put like if you have a child and you want to include them on it or if you have a a parent you can put the pet Put the, if you have a power of attorney over your parent and you want to put them there, you can also. And then here's the secured party creditor. So this is you. This is not the all caps commercial person that's doing business in the world, getting debts. This is you, the living person. So this, this is your, put your name here, the individual. So uppercase, the first letter, and then the rest, lowercase. That's your last name here, your surname. And then the first, where it says first, you put your first name, dash, and then the middle name, and then the colon. If you have no middle name, you just leave the dash out and the middle name out. You just put a colon. Then your address, city, state, and the zip is in the brackets. Then down here is like your collateral. Um, here you're going to have to have a security agreement with a security agreement number and that is a separate doc document that you make where you list all your all your property that you want to put in here because you can't put like account numbers in this area they'll reject it so basically you have to put that here this information and then put the number of referencing to that in the book it does give you an example of a security agreement so that's why you can download the book from Scribe or if you want a hard copy of it or a paper copy, a paperback, you can get it on Amazon. But this says this is an actual and constructive notice. And actually in the link, I'm going to leave the templates to this. Um, so you can go get the templates, but I'm just going to read like, like the first sentence to, to give you an idea. This is this is actual and constructive notice that all of the debtor's interests now owed or hereafter acquired is hereby accepted as collateral for securing contractual oblig obligation in of the security party, party as detailed in a true, correct, complete, notarized security agreement recorded at the county recorder's office on and then you put the date so it's basically talking about all your assets the this debtor this uh, all caps name all your assets are secure in the security agreement and then like after you've said all that language um, like I said you can get the template It'll, it should be in the description and then it'll have this so if you want to change it put your dates and put your security agreement and then at the bottom here it does have the house joint res resolution information and the UCC codes and then your birth certificate number 
So that's one example of how you can do it. So that, and that's pretty much it. And if you want the template, just get it in the description and good luck. Thanks. Bye-bye. And subscribe for more.